one way to identify them, right, is by their number, by the, by the number in the corner. You know a trick? Mm -hmm. If you look on the back, the number is larger. Um, you see that? So you could leave your bills, your $1 bill, flat. So this is one, okay? Then we're going to give him another one. Now, Alex, to do a five, you're going to fold it like that. If you feel it has rough edges, okay, what about this coin, right? Then on the other side, I might have, oh, this is two in the back. You could put your dot, your ten. Same like this. And that way when you folded your wallet, they stay like that. The skill that we were demonstrating is um, money identification, and obviously that's important because we want to make sure that the person can manage their money um, appropriately, identify it, and so that others that they interact with know that they know how much money they have. Um, it's not so much as important when you're dealing with bills that they know what president is necessarily on the bills, that's maybe... I mean, it's a good idea, however, when you're visually impaired, one man in a suit looks like another man in a suit. There's not enough to distinguish the two. So generally, we work with a folding system, and there's more than one way to do that. Um, some people learn that the bill lengthwise, as you see in the clip, um, we call that, refer to that as the hot dog bun, is the $10 bill, and when it's folded again in half, it's a 20, but I have seen it other ways, what's, what's really important is that the person is consistent and that they know what they're doing. Um, if they don't have a method, we don't want to, then that's, we'll introduce one and suggest that that work. If they have something and they can show me that they can fold it consistently and they can identify their bills correctly, then I don't try to change that. We want to look for features in the coins that are distinguishing, such as size, and um, the texture of the coin on the edges, the quarter and the dime being ridged, and the penny and the nickel being smooth. Um, then we can work with ca the counting of the money as a separate skill. So we want to make sure they can master the um, identification of the coins and their amounts first. Um, the other thing that would be important with bills is how they manage their money on their, on their person, like maybe a, a wallet that has separate sections. They can, um, if not, if they have one large section, sometimes I encourage them to put the larger bills in the back, such as a 20, and then on top of that the 10, and a 5, and a couple ones. If they're folded in all separate ways, it could make that bulky and difficult to fold. So if they had a wallet that had compartments, you could then slide the 20 that's folded over twice in a section by itself. Another thing that we suggest to the students when they're in a store is to let the cashier or the clerk know that they know how much money they have. Um, the clerk may say, your bill comes to $10.30, and the person who's visually impaired may say, out of 20, letting them know that they have a $20 bill. At that point, they could request to have um, some bills in, in dollars, so that that way they can ensure that they're getting the correct change back. I hope this is helpful, and if you need any other information or questions, feel free to email me here at the school. Thank you.